Welcome to A Breath of Fresh Career. This is season two, episode 19. I am joined here by my wife, Cindy Kane. Um, what can I say? Fortunate to spend uh, my life with Cindy. Um, we've been married for, for 19 years. We have a wonderful 14-year-old son together. And uh, I've been pushing her to come on A Breath of Fresh Career because little does she know she's got a pretty intense entrepreneurial side to her. And um, we, uh, let me start by saying she's had a long career in, in healthcare uh, as a dental hygienist for a great practice. Before that, she was raised by a dentist. Uh, it's in her DNA. What can I say? Um, back when COVID hit, Cindy was laid off because no one was getting their, their teeth cleaned. And um, she found herself like many of us sitting around the house and uh, took that opportunity as she always does to, to go back to school. And she attended the Institute of Integrative Nutrition. Am I saying that correct? IIN? Yeah. Um, uh, to become a health coach um, uh, and, and an entrepreneur. And uh, a few years have passed. Cindy find her, finds herself working, quite frankly, day, day and night. Uh, you can ask our son to, uh, to help provide the best care and advice she can for her clients. Um, in doing all of this, she's great, built a really great practice called Maven of Moderation. We'll talk about that in a second. But Cindy, welcome to A Breath of Fresh Career. Thank you. It's exciting to be here. Cool. So for our listeners, start off by telling us what a health coach is and what a health coach that does. So a health coach, there are a hundred thousand of us in this country and we are growing all of the time, every day. A health coach is a cheerleader for your health. We provide a space and the ability for people to make decisions and gain insight to their being their best self, whether their journey is to lose weight, which many people start by coming as losing weight or just avoiding metabolic disease or health diseases down the road. They just are coming to a health coach to be their best self and get healthier. Very, very needed out there. You know, aside from a, a dietary um, uh, concerns, right? We're coming out of a, um, a worldwide crisis with COVID um, pandemic. And, you know, you think about things like depression and being cooped up and how do we get, you know, kickstart uh, ourselves again to get back out into uh, the, the uh, to get outside, to get into, into, in, I guess, environment, et cetera. Um, I've heard you talking to people about some of that stuff and just getting up and getting out. What led you to, to go back to school uh, to become a health coach? Well, I think you hit the nail on the head um, a little bit earlier that at the beginning of the lockdown, the shutdown, I kind of kept saying to Eli, who's our son, that at the end of this pandemic, we are going to come out of this. I think we should all be better than when we went in, whether that means learning something new. He learned how to write script. Um, that was one of the goals that I had for him. But I just I thought it would behoove myself anyway, if I could be better than when I went in. So I was up one night in the middle of the night trying to get a stop and shop grocery um, list added to the, um, you know, the delivery. The shopping so cart. Yeah, I remember that night. Shopping cart. I'd get up at one o'clock in the morning and make the shopping cart and get a delivery time. And this um, across Facebook came the Institute of Integrative Nutrition health coaching program. And I had never heard of a health coach. And of course it interests me being in the healthcare field and sort of always having this idea of what healthy is. So I literally looked at it. Um, I looked at some videos, I read about the school and I think I registered the next day. I, I remember you coming back to bed at like 3.30. <laughs> I'm like, that's a big grocery list. <laughs> yeah. And um, I was turning 50. I had just come back from a trip to Morocco. So I was feeling especially excited and energized coming home from that trip to do something to whenever I travel, whenever we travel, seeing the world makes inspires me that we can do anything we want. So 
I registered and a year and nine months later, I've just completed a course in emotional eating, the psychology of emotional eating. And so I'd say that the pandemic led me to become a health coach, never intending to start a business. I just thought I would learn something and, and here I am. Awesome and great little story of the journey. Tell our listeners who you support and if you have a niche market. This is something that I've given a lot of thought to and I do have a niche market. And I feel that my niche market, as we all know, is something that is familiar to you or comfortable for you. I think, is that what a niche market is? Or, I mean, I know what a niche market is, but knowing um, the market itself is the best way to support people. And I have led a life, thankfully, with an abundance of um, positivity, healthy eating, movement, sort of all of the things that lend to a healthy lifestyle. So coincidentally, uh, the end of the pandemic, as you said earlier, people are feeling stuck. People are feeling that they have made habits or created habits that haven't been the best for their health. So then my niche market or the people that I really love to help are people that are looking to reset their lifestyle. So it's all encompassing. And this is also what a health coach does. We are, I will say what we're not, we're not nutritionists, we're not doctors, we're not financial advisors, we're not personal trainers. You're all of that for me, honey. But, (laughs) (laughs) and I am all of that for everybody to a degree. Uh, So supporting people in all aspects. And that is sort of, what my market is, um, especially women who are pr- looking to prioritize their self-care. As parents, we are looking after our children and our spouses and not prioritizing ourselves. So that is something that I'm really eager to lend to people. Well, one of the things that I noticed with you are these testimonials that are on your website. And I'll, I'll share a link to your website in the, in the, um, the comments section of, of this, this podcast and the video. The most recent um, testimonial is from uh, Alexis L, six-month client. Working with Cindy was comfortable and easy. Cindy takes the time to get to know you. She helped me break down my goals into small achievable steps She helped me understand the things that I wanted to improve upon and guided me as I worked toward my goals. After six months of working with her, I realized so many amazing things in my life had changed for the positive. She helped me achieve goals I had been wanting to achieve uh, simply by helping me find small but meaningful ways to improve my mindset uh, and day-to-day life. I mean, that's just, that's amazing to me that kind of embodies what you do on a day-to-day basis. So um, these, these, uh, this mindset, this day-to-day life, walk us through what the day in the life of a health coach is who's starting their own business, please. My mind is constantly going and you can attest to that. Yes, I can. Uh, And Eli can attest to that because this is all I talk about. Um, when patients in my dental practice ask how I'm doing, I've been sharing what I have been doing with them and I just don't stop talking. And then I apologize. And it's like a dam that opens. If somebody asks me something about health coaching, it's a floodgate that opens. So I'm just constantly creating. I have ideas that are just popping into my head every other moment. I'm working right now on a 21 day sugar detox that I will facilitate a group, virtual group in January. And I'm doing two simultaneously. I've just gotten a second job at the Jewish community center in our town, which I'm so excited to support the people there. Um, And I'm finishing up my emotional eating psychology course, as you know, and I will continue on pretty soon and start a hormonal health course. So just all things to support my clients, 
um, ideas that I want to share with others. This is how I spend my days, along with working three days a week for Dr. Babushkin in the office and making breakfast, lunch, and dinner for my family and Thank hockey you. practice, and hockey games. You're welcome. And working out and playing tennis. And, you know, my, my days are full, but they're so rewarding and I wouldn't have it any other way. You're, you're actually leaving for an event today. You're, um, you're going into the city to the Javits Center. What, what is this event you're attending? Well, I'm so excited to go back to the city. This is my first time in two years. Um, I've been invited to a plant-based food trade show. It is an international trade show that actually a patient and a friend of mine has founded. So I'm going to go to the Javits Center and learn about plant-based foods. And unfortunately, I'm missing a lecture or a presentation about how to get carnivores to eat more plant-based. And I, I'm... I appreciate a vegan lifestyle. Um, it's not something that I partake in, but I am interested in learning because it can support my clients. So any little bits and pieces, and this is what I've really found most exciting is everything that I read, everything that I attend, anything that I listen to, I learn something. And it just all is in support for my you clients. You can probably give the lecture on how to get a car carnivore to eat more of a vegetable lifestyle. You're talking to one right now. Um, mm -hmm. I, I never in my wildest imagination, even before I met you thought about sushi or, uh, or, or meatless meat <laughs> or whatever or it's called. Or tempeh. Or yeah, oh yeah, exactly. Right. See, you're just throwing things out there that I don't on the regular. Um, and it's amazing. Tell us, tell us about the name Maven of Moderation. Why, why the name of your business? W what does it mean? Well, maven of moderation. I really believe in moderation. I have always lived my life within this space. I've never been the best at anything and I've never been the worst. I've always been sort of the moderate and that is true to everything. Um, and then maven is a Yiddish word that means expert. So it's really sort of hard to label myself as an expert in anything, but truthfully, once I got my certificate, so with my history of my life and now my health coaching certificate under my belt, I really am able to claim myself as such or, or leading in that direction, of course. So the maven of moderation is was just this sort of idea that I had in my head and it stuck and it rolls off the tongue. And um, it really, it excites me because it is what I really believe in. And it's got a great acronym because you're Mom. a good one. Yeah. Yes. What, how does somebody get started with you as a client? They have to want to change some habits. They want to, they have to want to put the time in. And once they've sort of decided that, or even if they're questioning that, they can go onto my website and w, do I say this now or you can will say you it now, it but I'll put it in the comment section as well. So mavenofmoderation.com. And there is an opportunity to schedule a complimentary health history. And that is where we, I can answer questions. People are welcome to call me or email me, Cindy at Maven of Moderation and ask me questions, but basically just taking the steps to complete a health history or have a conversation. Is that health history virtual or in person? This is all virtual, yes. Okay, cool. You you call it the ripple effect. What is that? Um, and have you kind of collaborated with others to create more wellness? And how have you? The ripple effect is just as it sounds. You, If you picture the water and you see the ripples of, let's say, a skip, skipping a rock, you see how the ripples kind of expand and go outwardly. So, so the ripple effect for health is what I hope to do, which is affect people in a positive way. And then they share it with their friend and their friend shares it with their friend and so on and so forth, making humanity healthier. I, I think I have actually shared the ripple effect with people. I have three friends who have decided to go to IIN and become health coaches. 
And I have clients who have shared what they're learning or what they've discovered about themselves and taken that to their families. So that's the ripple effect. And I have collaborated with a local mom and declutter, professional declutter and organizer. Her name is Lauren Haas and her business is Clutter Kicker. And the two of us have created a program called Unstuck. And we are going into our sixth cohort of women that where we have uh, four virtual sessions, small group sessions, where we talk about home environment. And that's really the, the place where we start to become healthier is clearing the space in our homes. Awesome. And so that has been a wonderful collaboration. And I've done things with our local library and the Rotary Club and of the JCC, yes, and local organizations where Lauren and I for Unstuck and myself for Maven of Moderation have started to create the ripple effect for better health and wellness. That's great. You, you what, we got the holidays, right? We're, we're deep entrenched in the holidays right now with, with, you know, Hanukkah passing, uh, Christmas coming and, and new year. Um, everybody's doing things. People are dying to get back out, be in public. You're going to a trade show today. Um, what's, what's a bit of advice that you can give the listeners to thrive, um, not only survive the upcoming holiday, but thrive through it? I love this question because we're all affected by the holiday stress, whether it's at work or at home, gift giving, cards, sending cards out, we're all experiencing it. There are a few main points that I can say. And the first one is focusing on your self-care, your own self-care. And that, that looks very differently for many people, but there are really prioritizing rest and sleep and movement and eating well, delegating, you know, learning how to delegate. If you've got teenagers or even younger than teenagers, having them help with certain tasks. It's really important as we spend more time with families, set boundaries with those of whom maybe your values don't align. So really prioritizing your self-care and it's not a selfish act. It's actually an act of kindness to your, towards yourself. And as women and men, spouses, taking care of ourselves in a healthy way really makes us better able to manage the stress. And I love, love, love starting clients off each session with deep belly breathing or at least breathing. So taking a moment and a stressful uh, and time to just breathe. Nice. You, getting out, going out for a walk with the family, going for a run, working out. Everyone thinks about these new year, new year, New Year's resolutions. You guys have you have the sugar detox coming up, um, which I'm I'm going to be taking part in. I guess um, excited to try that and see how I can can fend. We're getting close to the end of this. Is there anything I should have asked you and didn't during this podcast? I mean, I can keep talking, but I won't. Um, I just the, the floodgate. I the floodgates will open. I, you know, I should have done a better description of, I could have done a better description of what a health coach um, is or does. And it's, I mean, really all you really need to do, Cindy, is read these testimonials and it, yeah. it tells you. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. you. What we do is we support your goals and we do that providing a safe space. We listen and Nobody knows their self as best as themselves. So having the space and just the support and accountability is really what it takes to make change. And something that you should have asked me, but didn't was who has made this all possible? And that is you and Eli, because without you guys in the last almost two years, year and a half, I wouldn't have been able to do any of it. Yeah, you would have. Thank okay. you. Yeah. You well, you've, had, you've enabled me to have the time to go to school and do my work and meet with my accountability partners and see my clients and 
you've given me the time and space. So it's been fun you. watching you on this journey. You are uh, looking at your website. Um, you've got Facebook, Instagram. Um, I don't know how active you are on Twitter, but uh, where, where can our listeners best connect with you and, and learn more about Maven of Moderation and health coaching and, and all that good stuff? Should I list all of those social um, links in the, the sure. description? Okay. Yeah. Instagram, a Maven of Facebook, Maven of Moderation, email Cindy okay. at Maven. Yeah. Okay. I'll list all that stuff. Awesome. Well, I, I appreciate you coming on. It's, I've been pushing for this for you. Uh, and I, I've been on a hiatus from the podcast world for the last month or so, because I've just been so busy at work trying to wrap up the year, but um, thank you for coming on and, and I love you and, uh, and, you know, have fun in, in the city at the show. Thank you. I love you too. All right. Thanks. All right. Bye.